God, it smells so bad. It's delicious. What have they done to Vermont? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Spring break! Woo! It's literally like, I think it's the first day of summer in a week and a half. <laughs> My birthday's in two days and it's pride. That's why I'm looking like this. You do look so happy. Early birthday. This is probably the closest thing we'll get to a birthday video. We, I feel like every year we're like, we're going to do a birthday video. And then like all of a sudden it's July. And it's like, well, both our birthdays have passed. <laughs> I guess we won't be doing that this year. So happy birthday, Kristen. Enjoy your birthday video where you have to eat a bunch of bull****. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hi everyone! Welcome to the Kitchen and Jordan Show. I am Kitchen. And I am Jordan. And this is the kitchen where we eat the food. Yeah. And today on the Kitchen and Jordan Show, we're making another one of our fun, fun, fun Trader Joe's. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. We'll have fun, 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 fun till the toilet fun, takes all of our fun away. <laughs> So today we're making one of our famous Trader Joe's videos. And this is kind of a fun one, so the category feels a little bit all over the place because we are trying. Oh, sorry. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying all the new summer 2023 foods. Right. Or at least all the ones that we could find. Yeah. This might be a part one. We might do, do part two. Yeah, because there were a lot of new products. Uh-huh. These are all things that are just like, that were just released and are exciting. Yeah, or they might be terrible. They, I mean, yeah, I mean. They're freshly birthed yeah, we don't, from the sure. womb. <laughs> It's a lot of like different types of stuff. There's like muffins, there's ice cream. We obviously have some hot food, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. So if this is your first Trader Joe's video, as you know, we rate the food on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great. And if you absolutely suck, your penalty box bad. Yeah. You may be wondering why do you have, they have these little things in front of them? That's cause that's the first food, baby. The first food. So we're gonna be trying the hot foods first. Hot foods, we mean like the foods that are temperature hot, not spicy hot. Yeah, like that might be spicy hot, who knows? We'll see. The first new Trader Joe's product that we're gonna be trying today is the Trader Joe's Shrimp Boom Ba, a crispy tattered tail off round shrimp with a sweet and spicy sauce. Shrimp Boom Ba is so fun to say. <laughs> what is Shrimp Boom Ba? What is, Shrimp Boom Ba, well, here's the thing. It has like a crawfish on the front, which tells me that this might be like some sort of Creole occasion food. Okay. I don't know. Like, it also came with like a spicy, a spicy sauce. So anyway, the first thing we were trying is the shrimp boom ba. I'm afraid of shrimps that I cannot see if they've been deveined or not, to be honest. And I regularly eat shrimp tails. So we are two sides of uh, different very coin. different coin. Yeah, different coin. <laughs> two, or yeah, we're different banks. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. I can see this has been deveined. Okay, it's really good. I thought this was good. It's delicious. Like, these are like, okay, they're good, easy appetizers. It comes with a sauce too, which I think is like very convenient. You know what? Most things should come with a sauce. Yeah. If you have a serving suggestion, it's your responsibility to fulfill that destiny for me, okay? Don't put a whole bunch of extra accoutrements in the picture on the front and then expect me to shop for all those things myself. Put the limes in the box. Oh, there's limes on this box. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> see that. Now I'm mad. <laughs> I think these are really great. I think these are really great. The fry is good. The shrimp has been deveined. Sauce is tasty. These would be a great appetizer. Yummy. This is fun because you and I are from the Midwest. This next item is Trader Joe's breaded cheddar cheese curds. I want to talk about it now. <laughs> Jen always gets mad at me because I always want to talk about the food while Jen's doing the focus shot. And Jen is always like, you have to wait because no one can hear you. I think that fried cheese in a non mozzarella stick context is disgusting. That's wrong. That's, that's, that you are incorrect. I think that you are incorrect. Yeah, but that doesn't happen. So <laughs> you can think I'm incorrect, but you got to know that I don't do that. In consummate little sister tradition, you've never been wrong in your life. Exact the mundo, baby. And whenever like you are wrong, you get mad at everyone else. I'm not, well, I'm not wrong actually. <laughs> All right, let's eat these, little, so yeah, these, are, these little bad Larrys. These are cheddar cheese, seasoned batter, and fried for this crispy fried gooey. Cheese. Yeah. I mean, this is basically like, this is poutine, but Americanized, I guess. Although I guess there's fried cheese curds and poutine. I don't know, whatever. It's, yeah, I, I love cheese curds. It's good. It's delicious. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, we get it. It's good. We get it. It's fried, it's gooey, it's delicious. It's you want a metal? Jen was right again. <laughs> I've had like, obviously when you get like cheese curds that are freshly fried, that's really hard to compare to, but for something you make in your house, the coating stays really crispy and this the cheese is, is good tangy. Emergency hangover snack. Yes. These are really great. They are really great. I, I do not like that it's good because like fried cheese, it's you know, it's kind of a hat on a hat. It's a fat on a fat. Is this political for you? <laughs> Are you just mad that you're right? Well, no, no, I would never be mad about that. <laughs> I disagree conceptually. Do you think maybe you don't want to accept them into your life because you don't think you're worthy of that type of love? 
Because I just want you to know, <laughs> you are worthy. Your hands are so cold. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're trying next. So it look Oh good. my God, what have they done to Vermont? <laughs> Oh no, Senator Kane! I don't know. Do you not know who the senators are oh, from Vermont? Bill, sorry, sorry, Bernie, Bernie, Ma Bernie Madoff. No. Bernie Mac? Bernie Sanders. The next item you're trying is kind of neat. So it's a gluten-free, battered, plant-based fish fillets. So these are a vegan item. This is another thing. Look at all these f items on this box. Yeah, this one doesn't come with a sauce. They're selling it because they're just like, look at these fries and this lemon and this sauce. I didn't ask for a fried Vermont. It's basically just fried jackfruit shaped like a steak. Yeah. It's good. Very good. I'm good. Uh, it's actually better than real fish. <laughs> so the jackfruit is like a pretty good fish dupe. Like the texture I think is pretty on point for like a fried fish stick. Maybe we just like fried food. I don't know. But I th like this I is, think they're this flavored. also really it's also, great. It's also king oyster mushroom. So I think it's like mushroom jackfruit that kind of makes it. It's good though. It's really savory. Like yeah. It's, it's not tasty. sweet at all. It's very I tasty. I bet with lemon actually it would be perfect. Wow. All right. So like actually the first thing we've tried, this is really great too. It's a murderous row of good foods. All right. So we tried all the hot food. We're going to kind of switch gears. So the next new summer item we are trying are the Trader Joe's strawberry gluten-free muffins. It's strawberry season. Strawberries. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> I think you wanted it to kiss you. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> it's like Little Mermaid. Whenever something's gluten free, I'm just like, uh oh, it's like a group project, but like the person who usually does everything didn't show up. So now we gotta pretend to like that we put together a rap battle about Sherman's March to the Sea for <laughs> social studies class, even though we didn't do any work at all. That's did, what did it's you like. Ever, did you ever put together a rap battle for a class? No. That would be, I've never done that either. Can you imagine? Okay, that's good. Wait, wow. What is your usual issue with gluten-free desserts? Is it kind of like the denseness? It's dry, it tastes like <laughs> <laughs> So this, on the other hand, this actually doesn't taste like <laughs> So it's a nice change from the usual pattern. <laughs> yeah, I think these are pretty good. I mean, it's they're, moist, they're really moist. It's sugary, like, I kind of want some more of it. Sure. It's really, yeah, I mean, all so my- taste the strawberries? Oh my gosh, the slackers were able to pull off the rap battle anyway. <laughs> they had skills. They had, oh gosh. <laughs> We should do videos where we do the new products more often. Next item, ding! Have we hated anything yet? Not yet. The next new item is the Trader Joe's Pronto Amaro Aperitivo Bitter, a product of Italy. I think they all taste like <laughs> cough syrup. Brie, do you want to try some of this garbage aperitivo? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're trying this like Trader Joe's brand aperitivo. All right, hell yeah. It's gonna taste like cough syrup. Oh, no, it looks disgusting. Tiny little It looks pores. like cough syrup. It looks nasty. It looks like watered down cough syrup. It looks like, oh, oh my God, it's like Dayquil. Oh Aperti God, it smells so bad. It smells like a nightmare. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a little try. Give it a little try. Burns a little bit. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. Just like cherry-ish, like berry flavored liquor. Ooh, actually, okay. Yeah, you're tasting that bitter shit at the end. The first part of the taste is not bad. Yeah. Then the aftertaste, the bitterness that takes and over your mouth. And then the bitters. Well, the bitterness is the yeah. is the point it of it. I, I think this is actually a fair, like if you enjoy such things as Amaro, I think this is a fairly decent uh, Affordable option. At, yeah, affordable option. Cool. It tastes like the ghost of Robitussin. All right, well, thank you, Brie. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like licking a good and plenty you found on the road. I love good and plenty, so. That you found on the road? The road? <laughs> All right. It's a belly box bad. It's a belly box bad. <laughs> Get it out of here. I'm sorry, okay? We did not like you. All right. Buttermilk! So this is the new Trader Joe's buttermilk ranch dressing. This feels like a bad back-to-back -back prospect, well, which we... is exactly why we should do it. Get me the aperitivo glass. We're gonna drink out of those. So we're gonna try them with the cheese curds. The thing about buttermilk is that, oh God. The thing this, about, is, this is a pretty like thin ranch. It's a thin ranch. A ranch usually needs to be pretty thick. Although I will say I've had restaurant ranches that are quite delightful that are thinner. I just don't trust, you know? All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> buttermilk ranch. Oh, that is dilly. Mm-hmm. That is a The dill. dill's a little bit overpowering. Like I do like dill flavor, but I think it needs to be a little bit more balanced. There's I think there's more this, like, dill in this than garlic, and you can tell. Yeah. I would prefer something with more balanced flavors. You're gonna keep eating it. Yeah, I have cheese curds and ranch. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I, keep eating it. 
Ranch is just okay. Ranch is okay. I think it's fine. I think it's I think it's too dilly. Trader Joe's roasted red pepper hummus. And I thought this they already had this, but this was also a new product. So I guess this is a new recipe for the roasted red pepper hummus? I think the overwhelming majority of store-bought hummus is disgusting. I think that if you want good hummus, you are honestly better off making it at home, in my opinion. If you're eating store-bought hummus, like I feel like it's just clear, like this is something for appetizers. Like this is just a sauce that you dip in. This it's like a chickpea sauce. It's not really like- This is a shortcut to hosting. This yeah. is just like, okay, let's just eat it. I don't want to eat it though. Okay, eat some crackers. We got so many crackers. I'm only going to use one of them. All right, roasted red pepper hummus. This is going to be disgusting. Thing. I don't want it. Mm. Okay, it's not terrible. It's just a creamy red pepper sauce, honestly. A chickpea and red pepper sauce. Great! It's, it's not, like, I'm not happy, but, like, I'm not spitting it out. No, I think it's fine. I, I think, think it's, that's okay. It's just okay. It's okay. It's, it's not, not, like, mind-blowing, but, hey, you get the flavors. It's good with pita chips. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. The next new product we are trying is the sweet and salty umami crunchy rice crackers. Oh. Sweet and salty. These look like stale tater tots. I can tell you what these actually look like. These look like stale Burger King hash browns. Yeah! <laughs> oh. No. Not They're a little too sweet for me, honestly. These taste too much like rice cakes. I would prefer if they were just salty. I'm not really getting the umami Rice flavor. cakes are nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just not good. Anyway, that's my opinion. Well, I... <laughs> Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> totally box bad. Realistically, they're gluten free. So like, if you need a gluten free snack, like, you know, you go. yeah. So it's like, like, you're probably actually they may be pretty good just for you. But it just I don't, I I shall not be served rice cakes. So you know, just my initial response. Penalty box bad. After she had like a little bit of an anxiety spiral, <laughs> Kristen was like, they're just okay. <laughs> These are just okay. The next new product we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's the Organic Midnight Moo Chocolate Syrup. Had some midnight moos out of that burrito. That's my least favorite type of moo. <laughs> so did you get us anything to like put this into? Our mouths. <laughs> So, so we're just going to lick this well, off it, our is it, is it to make chocolate milk or is yeah, it it's just it's, chocolate syrup? So it's like- Yeah, I know, but what do you use chocolate syrup for? It's not, it's like, it's like for chocolate milk or, or milk. <laughs> you use chocolate syrup for? It's, cho it's either chocolate milk. No! Stop, you just said it again. <laughs> what do you use chocolate syrup for? Is it, it's either for chocolate milk or for sex stuff. You guys are want us to try like this because this is how you would eat it if you were to buy it at home, right? Like yeah, this is if you're feeling like, accurate. We're, we're eating it like depression style. We're eating, yeah. This is the way the product was meant to be used. <laughs> well, it's certainly chocolate syrup. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, as like a snack. Well, sometimes chocolate syrup has sort of a metallic-y taste to it, and this doesn't. You could put this on ice cream and it would be palatable. It'd be pretty good. You could probably put this on most things and it would be palatable. So actually, this is pretty good. Wow, okay, Midnight Moo. The best Midnight Moo you'll ever have. The best Moo you'll ever have. <laughs> All right, so the next new item we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's Enchanted Jangle, a magical mix of assorted candy treats. Trader Joe's has a product that they call Jingle Jangle. It's like, I believe it's, it comes out like towards the end of the year for like the seasonal holidays. So like, this is kind of, I guess, like summertime Jingle Jangle. Ooh, oh my God. So I opened it and it smells smells like old Lucky Charms. It really does have that like candy cereal smell, which makes sense because it is candy. I think it's like, there's lots of various parts. I'm just gonna you, grab a handful. I don't think you can eat like just one pretzel and I'm be getting, like, I've jingled I'm, that jangled. <laughs> so I grabbed each like piece mm. and I'm just gonna throw them all in my gob. Mm. 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 <laughs> my teeth are in so much pain. <laughs> that is very sugary. Um, Do you have teeth? Yes. Mm. Here's the thing. Individually, I think the candies and the pretzels in there could be good. Like when you just eat a handful. I don't think you were supposed to eat it like that. It's not like it's like a plated menu where you have to put every single thing to compose each bite. I want to enjoy the jangle the way it was meant to be jingled. <laughs> Then yeah, this is for you. Like this, this is, is like, for you. Do you want put this trick? in a bowl and take it? Put it outside at your kid's birthday party. Put it outside. It's like enchanted jangles. They're doing like there's like a magic wand on the back. Like I don't really understand what the theme is. I think the theme is. Candy. It's for magicians. <laughs> the theme is candy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like sugar? You're gonna like this. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I'm good with that. Trader Joe's chocolatey coated peanut butter crispy rice bites. Too many words. I do like that these are individually wrapped. That's kind of nice. I do too. Appreciate that. Ooh, I bet this is gonna be chewy as hell. Oh. 
Oh, they're delicious. This is just like a peanut butter and chocolate crispy, rice crispy treat. Yeah, Trader Joe's, you did it. You created a delicious confection. You delicious bastards. You freaking. You've done it again. You've done it again. Yeah, yummy. Mc yummy. It's McFrickin' delicious. Really great. Good job. Ooh, more candy. I'm kind of excited about these because I think they're really cute. So these are the Trader Joe's Donuts Forever. They're not donuts, they're donut shaped chocolate truffles. And look at them. Oh. What? So they're just chocolates with holes on them. This is the milk chocolate and caramel donut forever. <laughs> these are delicious. Yeah, these are delicious. Trader Joe's can do chocolate. They know how to do sweets. I mean, if you like chocolate, I promise you, you're gonna like chocolate with a hole in it. <laughs> it's the same. Donuts forever? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Another candy. Trader Joe's trio of soft licorice twists. There are three of them. Oh, I hate licorice. I'll try them, I'll try them. No, you I'll know. try them. Okay. No, so, it's more fun if I complain about them. <laughs> raspberry, mango, green apple. Mmm, I like the mango one a lot. Pretty nasty. <laughs> Ooh, and that green apple? Tart. And mango one's pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Famously, I like candy that is favored by old women. Honestly, this isn't bad. For licorice, this isn't yeah. bad. If you like licorice, you'll like this. If you like these flavors, the flavors are really fun. I think it's a pretty fun treat. If you don't like licorice, you're not gonna be like that upset. Yeah. Pretty good? It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Oh, what's next? Okay. Oh no, we gotta make a smoothie. This next item is the fruits and greens smoothie blend. It's blueberries, bananas, strawberries, dragon fruit, spinach, and kale. We're gonna eyeball it smoothie-wise. Oh, Kristen loves smoothies. I do love smoothies. Whatever, we're just gonna do that. Okay, fine, that's enough. Put some almond milk. Put it on the blender. Okay, I think I think it needs more almond. <laughs> it needs more almond beverage. It's too thick. It's much too thick. It's too thick. Ooh. We all want to do that sound. <laughs> Should I add more? Yes. I feel like it's fighting it. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's probably enough. Okay. <laughs> How many kitchen drawers does it take to make a pre-made smoothie? <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> I miss. Fruits and green smoothie blend. All right. Yummy. It needs the honey. It's not as sweet as I would expect. So like I would add, yeah, like I would add honey or like maybe some like fruit juice that you think would go well. For like an easy like combo of items to put in a smoothie, this is pretty easy. Like if you want to add this to like some, like some peanut butter or something, mm -hmm. I think, or like some peanut butter and cacao, I think it'll be better. Yeah, so this is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Listen, I will take any shortcut I can. I love shortcuts. Yeah, especially when it comes to They're eating. They're the best cuts there mm -hmm. are. So the final new item we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's Golden Caramel Swirl Ice Cream. I love when they model ice cream like this with the, like the, the upside, down. upside down. It's like, oops. It's, so it's sort of like, it's like a boudoir shot for ice cream where it's like, so naughty. You're not supposed to see me like this. <laughs> So I usually like the Trader Joe's frozen <laughs> treats. I like their ice cream. I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong here, but we'll see. <laughs> huh. oh, okay, it's salted caramel. All right. It mostly just tastes like chocolate ice cream. Yeah, like it's good chocolate ice cream, but you don't really taste the caramel too strongly. Like the chocolate just kind of like The chocolate is you. like, it's here. Yeah. But I would say like, okay, you know, it's pretty it's, good. It's fine. Yeah, it's like not exactly as advertised, but it's not bad ice cream. I think it's just okay. Okay. I think it's just okay, I'm sorry. That's fine, I'm that's sorry, fine. ice cream. That's fine. It's okay, we, we forgive you, we love you. Ah! <laughs> that was a joke. Cause like, you know, if the ice cream started talking to me, I'd be like, well, we gotta kill this thing. <laughs> All right, that's uh, the end of this video, I think. <laughs> This might be part one, it might not be part one. We'll see uh, when I go back to Trader Joe's and try to see like if there's more summer 2023 things. If not, this has been our Trader Joe's summer 2023 roundup. Enjoy, get some of these faves for yourself and let us know in the comments what you want us to try next. We'll see yeah. you next Friday. Next Friday, where we'll be doing something else. That's probably ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Ah!